Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we're going to be talking about what does it mean for a function to be smooth. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because it really helps me to be able to keep making these videos. Now, with that very smooth transition out of the way, let's talk about what it means for a function to be smooth. Well, a function is smooth if it has derivatives of every possible order. So a function is of order k if the kth derivative of f exists and is continuous. So a function is smooth if it is infinitely differentiable. We can also say that a function f is of order k by saying that f is in c to the k. This is just a common notation that you might see if you are trying to talk about a whole bunch of different orders at once. So by convention, c0 denotes all continuous function. Uh, c1 is all functions whose derivative is continuous. c2 is all function whose second derivative is continuous, and so on. So a function is smooth if it is in c infinity. So if a function is in ck, then we can also say it's in cj if j is less than k. Uh, some common smooth, uh, smooth functions are polynomials. Um, e to the x, cosine of x, sine of x, 1 over x squared plus 1, all of those are smooth functions. Um, it's not a comprehensive list, there's a whole bunch of other ones, but these are some common ones you might see. The function absolute value of x, that's c0, but it's not c1, since the derivative does not exist at x equals 0. So there's an example to show that c0 is not the same thing as c1. And then the function x squared sine of 1 over x, that turns out to be c1 but not c2. And you can find examples of all sorts of different functions that do similar things with the other different orders. I hope this video is helpful in understanding both the order of derivatives and also what it means for a function to be smooth. Please check out some of my other videos and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's a different topic you'd like to see me explain in a way similar to this, please leave it in the comment section down below. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and good luck with all of your math.